Hi everybody, this is Kim from K Diamond Paint and we are going to be diamond painting outside today for our whip and winners. Isn't it beautiful? It is a beautiful fall day. This is, if you've seen some of my older videos, we are at the lake. We are lucky enough to be able to come to this lake every once in a while and it is fantastic. Today is in the 70s. It is an unbelievable fall day up here. All right, I just wanted to show you what I'll be looking at while I'm diamond painting. Let's get to it. Okay, look at this beautiful color. This is 917. Look at the shine on these drills, the sparkle. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. And look at what I'm using. I know, my pen from Kristen. I will put her information down below if you are interested in this pen. She had this one specifically for sale. Um, I don't know what she has left for sale because I know a lot of people from the last video went over and bought. So have to hurry on over there before <laughs> she sold out, poor thing. But yes, beautiful. So thank you so much, Kristen. I know I decided to keep it. I just love it. This is my first fancy pen, you guys. So here we go. Getting to work on my custom man, a lot of people wrote down below after I showcased this to say that man it is the same canvas and drills as DIY moon, which I didn't know and I'm very excited to hear because I only ever hear good things about DIY moon shop. So yay, just a little good piece of information for those of you who are interested for stuff on the cheap. <laughs> <laughs> as I am. This is my second my man and um, I love it. I love their canvas. My last one turned out just beautifully. My little chickadee. All right. So today we're going to do whip showcase and winners as we have been. Um, I can't wait to get to it all. So we, we should just start, right? For the whip today, I thought we'd do something fun for our Halloween. I think we're going to do guess the quote what horror movie did this quote come from okay i know over on instagram reading diamonds has started a horror movie watching festival uh every night i think they're watching a different horror movie for october so i thought this would be perfect we're gonna do horror movie quotes and we'll see if you have watched any of these yet i wish i could be watching them with you but that is just not my lot in life for right now. I'm working on this. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get started. The first quote, I'm going to be easy on you guys, okay? We're going to start off easy. We're going to do, our first quote is, here's Johnny. Right? Did you guess that one already? Yes, it's The Shining. That's The Shining 1980 Jack Nicholson. That was a fantastic horror movie. But you know what? I, of course, read the book. And just as in most times, the book was better than the movie. I don't know. I know you're thinking, how could something be better than Jack Nicholson? But the book was actually better. Oh, okay. Here's another good one. It's alive. It's alive. Do you know that one? Yes, that's Frankenstein. However, you can do Frankenstein from 1931. Or you can do Young Frankenstein from 1974 with Gene Wilder. Alive, it's alive. Either way, isn't that a good one? Oh, did you see Young Frankenstein? That is so funny. I love Gene Wilder. He's so great. What's next? This one, so I know the quote and I know the movie, but I don't remember this quote being from this movie. Isn't that weird? It is, be afraid, be very afraid. Do you know what that is? It is 1986 
the fly. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah. Right, that's Gina Davis in the fly. I don't know. If you've seen this one, you know this was an absolutely disgusting horror movie. It was a good one. It was... I was going to put some more little pieces in here of that movie, but honestly, it's just too disgusting. If you're not in the mood for it, I wasn't going to throw it at you. Like when he loses his teeth. I mean, oh, you know what? We'll just move along. Let's just move along. So gross. Okay. The next one is game over not to be confused with game over man game over man game over man it's game over which is of course aliens from 1986 no this is game over and it was at the end of a lot of them all of them i would say all of them only i didn't see all of them started out in 2004 do you know game over that was Saw. Game over. Game over. Did you guys see Saw? I saw a few of them. I did not, in fact, see all of them. But the first one I can guess, I have my secret talent, is that I can guess movie endings. And I did not see that coming. I thought that was so great to have such a, a traditional gore horror movie with that kind of a storyline. So I was really excited about that one. Saw. Game over. Are you guys watching that one on the list? I have to go find the list. Okay. Let's see. Where are we now? Game over. Not confused. Oh, okay. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. Nancy's the clue on that one. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. We were just talking about this movie last week. I was going to put in the easier one. But I thought, no way, we've already been talking about it. Do you know this one? I'll show you. Yes, A Nightmare on Elm Street. That was 1984. Another classic. So, of course, I was going to do one, two, Freddy's coming for you. But we talked about it already. Lots of you remembered that. I was so impressed. I forgot it until I, I knew, I knew it one time I knew it. But now I don't know it until you guys put it up there. Oh, yes. Does that make any sense? Am I just rambling? It's because I'm doing so well with the diamond painting. I can either diamond paint well or talk well. I can't do both well. It's just not going to work out for me. Anyway, Nightmare on Elm Street. Fantastic movie. Is that on the list? <laughs> I gotta go look up the list. I have to keep asking you. You guys are like, Kim, we can't answer you. I know, I know. Okay, that was a hard one, I think, so I'm going to give you another easy one. Ready? They're here. You got that one right away, right? They're here. Yes, Poltergeist, 1982. Carol Ann's famous line. If you want a great Halloween drinking game, Watch Poltergeist and drink every time they say Carol Ann in that movie. I am not kidding you. You are going to be just three sheets before you're halfway into that thing. Everybody in that movie says her name a million times. Carol Ann. Where's Carol Ann? Carol Ann? Carol Ann. I mean, it's incredible. I just watched it the other day. I love that movie. That's one of my favorites. Okay. What's next? They're here. Oh. We all go a little mad sometimes. Do you know that one? We all go a little mad sometimes. It is a classic. That's a 1960s classic. If you can't guess it, I'm going to give you one more quote for that movie. A boy's best friend is his mother. Did that give it to you? 
she just goes a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. Yes, Norman Bates from Psycho. Right, that's 1960 classic. That's a good one. That's always a great one. This one is, oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. <laughs> I love that one for a Monday morning. All Monday mornings, not just Halloween. Oh look, another glorious morning. Makes me sick. That's 1993, and I know a lot of you've got that already. Bette Midler in Hocus Pocus. Oh, look. Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. Perfect. And how about this? <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's every line Jamie Lee Curtis has in Halloween. <laughs> That's 1978 Halloween. Perfect, right? <laughs> I tried to find some speaking quotes from that movie. There is nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Just Jamie Lee Curtis walking around screaming. <laughs> I love it. I love that one. Halloween and Friday the 13th. Those were just classics. And they had, I don't know how many. It seems like every single year we were going to see that movie. Um, one or the other or both. But, you know, 1978, I was pretty young to be seeing that movie so I'm wondering if I saw like maybe the second one and then it came out on VHS unbelievably or if you were unfortunate enough to purchase a beta machine do you guys know beta machines beta machine and VHS were pretty similar only VHS won the game and so if you had purchased a beta machine oh you were out of luck and had to go buy VHS because Beta was here and gone before you knew it. Here and gone. All right, you guys, those are our quotes. That's our whip that will complete this segment of our whip and winners for today. And let's go on to the showcase. Let's see what everybody's finishing because clearly I'm not finishing. I might post now if i can get some more of this done because i have not <laughs> i have not been able to post yet because i didn't you know calling this a progress photo would be a generous use of the term progress <laughs> so i'm going to keep working on this we'll do the showcase we'll do the winner and hopefully i can post a um a, a progress photo on instagram tonight you guys are doing awesome over there we have over 600 finishes. We have almost 1,200 chillers. Instagram is just full. It is unbelievable. And how everybody's posting and cheering each other on. This Drills and Chills is just way beyond anything that I thought it could be. And I'm just having the best time with you guys. So, okay. Let's go to the showcase and then to the winners. Because I can't wait for you to see this week's prize. You are going to love it. Okay. Let's start off with Shiny Shazza. Shiny Shazza has a custom that she finished. And look, it is finished, framed, and hung up on the wall already. So very impressive. This is a custom of her that she did from a picture she took last year. So this is fantastic. I hope if she went to a party with a Halloween costume contest that she won because... She looks amazing. That turned out great. I hope you are really happy with that because I think it's beautiful. Next we have Fee from Oz. She did Angelina Jolie as Maleficent. Didn't this turn out great? I love the headpiece from this costume. I love the red lips. They look fantastic. And I think the detail on this is great. I'm wondering, is this a custom or did you purchase this somewhere? Did someone have Angelina Jolie? 
That's pretty cool. So thank you, Fee from Oz. Tina O. Johnson? She did Blue Cat. I think this is her third finish, maybe? Third finish? This Blue Cat. Oh, don't you love, like, every single shade of blue and then his bright yellow eyes? He turned out amazing. There's so many cats. I just love them all. So thank you, Tina. And then this one, oh, this one is tough for me, you guys. I think the name, because it's all run together. Sylvia, Isabella, Coral, recalled? Sylvia, Isabella, I'm really sorry. I can't remember that. I can't. It's too many letters for me. <laughs> it's difficult. But Sylvia has the evil cream, queen from Snow White. And look at her. She's on the Game of Thrones thrones, or her own version of it. She looks amazing. The detail on this. I mean, look at the lettering and the styling. What is not to love about this one? I would absolutely frame this one, too. This one would be up on the wall. And I would be hard-pressed to take that down through the rest of the year. She looks amazing. Great job, Sylvia, Isabel, Coral. Recalled? <laughs> and Tori Luber, she has Jason from Friday the 13th, but look at him. I love this with the bloody hand hearts. That <laughs> cracks me up. I haven't seen this anywhere, and I have been looking through a lot of diamond paintings. So I can't believe some of these things that you find. I have to think that they're customs. Maybe not, but I haven't seen that anywhere. Really, oh, that's so kitsch. I love it. Great choice. Then we have Dare Bear, but Dare Bear, er, er. So she's Dare Bear, three R's, and then five. And this is um, like a sugar skull girl, but she's taking off her mask. Do you see that? And she's just a skull underneath. I love that. That's some kind of spooky gorgeous right there. Good choice. And all the roses in the background. Because this looks like it has a lot of detail for... It's, I think it might be a 30 by 40, right? Looks perfect. And... Sarcasticus? Sarcasticus? I hope I'm saying that right. This is fantastic, you guys. Look it beautiful fall waterfall scene this is a 50 by 100 you guys yes she finished a 50 by 100 so impressive i am so excited for her because that is just a big project to have finished already so congratulations i love it love it love it love it then we have speaking of love good segue Love my tats. She did gizmo with a wine glass. I assume it's water in that wine glass. But it's just a wine glass because he's fancy like that, right? Gizmo. Look at the little smirk on his face. So cute. That is a great one. That was such a good movie. I haven't seen it in a while. Do you go back and see like the old 80s movies and stuff like that and realize how inappropriate everything we watched was? <laughs> Ooh, it's getting windy out here. We'll finish up. Wait, we have to get another color. Hold on, let's find another color. Okay, where were we? We just left Gizmo. Gizmo the Fantastical. Fawn Medea? I hope I'm saying that right. I know Fawn is right. Fawn Medea? That's a Harry Potter um, painting. It's all Harry Potter stuff in it. It has, if you look at it, look, the glasses and the wand. Look at the detail for the pages on the book. Look great. The glow on the candle. The wings on Hedwig. I mean, I love this one. It's everything. Hogwarts in the background. This turned out really well. 
I love the idea of Harry Potter for Halloween, right? Because it does seem very Halloween themed, but just so much more sophisticated. <laughs> Sukiyaki kimchi. I love kimchi, by the way. Thank you very much. She has Snoopy. Oh, everybody's got to love Snoopy, right? Just love him with his, he's like trick-or-treating, look at him, his little pumpkin with the candy in it. He's trick-or-treating on a broom. I like the background on this. That is really some beautiful colors back there. So, thank you, Sukiyaki Kimchi. And then, our last one for this week, we have... Cyberset Girl. She did look at this. Isn't that impressive? That is one gorgeous, spooky chick. I mean, the rose, the, her hair blowing in the wind like that, the detail on that, her face, that is amazing. I love that. I, and I've been on this site. I didn't see this one, and this is just fantastic. And this, thank you so much, Cyberset Girl, is a great segue for us because this is a pretty neat creative canvas. And if you haven't heard yet, Pretty Neat Creative has collaborated with Drills and Chills 2020 to offer all of our chillers a 20% off coupon. So for your one-time 20% off coupon, when you're in checkout, put in PNC or PNC20 and you will receive 20% off of your purchase. This coupon is good until December 1st. So thank you so much, Pretty Neat Creative. We all appreciate that, and I am gonna go use mine to run out and get this chick. I have to go through and find it because this is beautiful. So thank you so much. All right, you guys, we've done our little whip. We've done our showcase. So now we are on to the prize. We have to pick out a winner. We have to show the prize and the winner. Are you ready? I know I'm into this now, but I'll stop. I'll put it away and let's let's see what we can let's see what you can win. Okay, everybody. Here's the prize for this week. I have another Diamond Dots accessory pack. This has the two pens. The two little containers of wax that's just so adorable. Two squishies and then two boats in here. So Diamond Dots, more from Diamond Dots. I saw these, they have, they call them stylus. Look, they have little diamonds on the ends. Isn't that cute? And they have built-in grippies. I thought someone should try these. I think they look cool. So we have those pens as well. Then I also have from Diamond Dots, look, I have two more containers of the glow in the dark drills and these work really well. I had it, I took a picture, maybe I can find it and I'll put it up here for you. So here we go with those and then Robin from Distracted by Diamonds, if you didn't see that video, all the things that she gifted us for prizes, I will link that for you right here. I have this fantastic cover minder. Is this this is my favorite? I love this guy. He's so graphic. So we have the cover minder, and then we have candy corn patty wax for you. And to top it all off, look your own container of the super stick. Look at this. How cute! I love it. Look at how much is in here. That is, seems to be a lot to me. Pretty cool, right? All right, so this is the prize for this week. I think it's a pretty fantastic prize. I wouldn't mind keeping it. So, okay, let's see who won. Congratulations! I'm so excited for you. I think this is a fantastic prize. I like it. I wouldn't mind winning it. 
contact me, message me over on Instagram. I'll get your address so I can get it out to you. Thank you everybody for joining Drills and Chills and for watching my video. And I'll see you over on Instagram. And I'll see you back here on Tuesday for another video. Thank you so much everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.